Well, I think what is particularly important is for a statement of this nature and of its enormous and profound value to see that it's disseminated on a large scale. Because in the ultimate analysis, particularly since most of us live in democracies, it's um, the awareness among the people, their determination to treat this as a serious problem that's really going to make a difference. And I think this statement coming from a distinguished organization like this and with leaders like President Gorbachev associated with it can really carry a very powerful value for society. So I, I would submit that the time has come when we shouldn't really wait for governments. Governments will of course have to play their own role. But what we really need to rely on is creating awareness among the people so that each one of us in our own way can start treating this problem as serious and uh, meeting the challenge effectively that confronts us today. Uh, you know, climate change is officially not on the agenda for Rio, but there's no getting away from the fact that everything that's being discussed over here is intimately connected with uh, climate change. So it would be, I think, totally unrealistic to believe that we can talk about a green economy, we can talk about sustainable development, we can talk about the problem of poverty without dealing with the issues connected with climate change. So I think climate change is, in a sense, uh, the 10-ton gorilla which is in the room and you're not going to get rid of him easily. Well, the IPCC brought out a, spe a set of special reports last year and let me just briefly tell you that one of them deals with extreme events and disasters and there's absolutely no getting away from the fact that some extreme events and disasters are becoming more frequent and more intense and that's something to be concerned about because just to give you an example if we don't do anything about the problem by the end of the 21st century you will find that those heat waves which currently take place once in 20 years will be occurring once in two years. And that's a pretty serious situation to deal with. Similarly, we have an increase in the intensity and frequency of extreme precipitation events. And that poses uh, threats of various kinds that we have to take into account.